it's Addie, and today we are finally starting Band of Brothers. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, and if you are new here, welcome. Today we are finally starting Band of Brothers, and I I feel like I've been recommended this movie, not this movie, this series just so many times, honestly, since the beginning of time. So I'm definitely looking forward to finally starting this show today. I do have high hopes for this. I mean, I've heard so many amazing things about this series. It is produced by Steven Spielberg and Tom Hanks. So I don't know, between all of the recommendations I've gotten and the team that's behind it, I just really have high hopes for this series. I imagine that I am in for an emotional journey with these 10 episodes. I imagine that a lot of it will likely be kind of difficult to watch, but I do think it's an important story to be told. It is set during World War II. So I don't know, I'm a little nervous because I know that this will be very heavy, but I am looking forward to finally starting this show today. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe for more reaction videos and to follow along with this Band of Brothers journey. And let's go ahead and get into Band of Brothers. Our country was attacked. It's a different. It wasn't like Korea or Vietnam. We was attacked. They said, who would like to volunteer for the airborne? What the hell is the airborne? The guy said, well, you jump out of airplanes. You know, you got all your army equipment, and you jump out of airplanes. Nobody put up their hands. The guy giving the, the speech was saying, but you get paid $50 a month more. So that made it <laughs> 100 bucks. Yep, I bet people are interested in that. I didn't realize that. I mean, I'm curious if there will be interviews throughout, but I didn't realize that there are at least some interviews throughout this. It makes it feel so real, I guess. Just a reminder that this is real. June 4th, 1944. Easy company! I wins on the drop zone. No oh, jump no. tonight. We're on a 24 hour stand down. I think it's Oh, yeah, man. Hmm. They'll be fine. Five o'clock in New York. Four o'clock in Chicago. Happy hour, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's five o'clock somewhere. We'll go to Chicago. I'll take you there. Mm. Yeah. We'll see. Oh, I feel like one of them is not going to make it back. Maybe both of them. Maybe all of them. I don't know. Two years earlier. You people are at the position of attention! I don't think I've really seen him in a serious role, so this will be interesting. I just know him as Ross. Pablo Picante, have you been blousing your trousers over your boots like a paratrooper? No, sir. That explained the creases at the bottom. Your weekend pass is revoked. Dirt in the rear sight at the drip pass revoked. Are you going to find something wrong with every one of them? When did you sew on the chevron, Sergeant Lipton? Yesterday, sir. Long enough to notice this. Revoked. Oh, you are going to pick apart each and every one of them. Malarkey slang for bullshit. Isn't it? Rust on the butt plate, hinge spring, private bullshit. Revoked. I wouldn't take this rusty piece of to war. Now, thanks to these men and their infractions, every man in the company who had a weekend pass has lost it. Change into your PT gear. We're running curry. They're gonna hate him. I ain't going up that hill. Don't give him no excuses. Excuses? Let's go on the road, PT formation. Let's move, move, move. Private White, why are you not in your PT gear? I asked you a question, Private. Are you gonna say anything? Mm. Now what company is this? Easy company! We are coming in 23 minutes, but that is not good enough for Easy Company! Ah. Uh, another having to do it again with all their gear. I'm gonna say something. Joe. Yeah, what would you say? Sir, we got nine companies, sir. Well, I come we're the only company marching every Friday night, 12 miles full pack in the pitch dark. 12 star. miles, whew. Lieutenant Sobel hates us, sir. Lieutenant Sobel does not hate Easy Company, Private Random. He just hates you. Oh. Well, thank you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Lieutenant Winners, I want canteens out of belts with the caps unscrewed. On my command, they will pour the contents onto the ground. You're not even letting them have water? Who is this? Christensen! Was this man ordered to not drink from his canteen during the Friday night march? You're not letting them have water. 
have disobeyed a direct order. You will fill your canteen and repeat all 12 miles of the march immediately. Oh, again? You have to go again. Oh. What in the name of God are you doing with my company? You're making me look bad, Lieutenant. I want the names of six men. Their infractions and your disciplinary recommendations. What infractions, sir? Find some. Oh. So, what'd you do? Picked six men and gave them latrine duty. Why them? It was our turn. Sobel's a genius. You know a man in this company who wouldn't double time curry he with a full pack just to piss in that guy's morning coffee? Let's go, let's go! <laughs> Stand in the door. Go! Come on, two That's so interesting. I guess you would have to learn how to properly jump out of a plane. <laughs> and they put that in there? I want to be in the airborne, sir! You have 15 minutes to the top and back, and I will be watching. All right, let's go. Did he say 15 minutes? Maybe he said 50. Oh, are they going to run it with him? Easy Company has the finest performance record in the entire 2nd Battalion. I believe every bit of that is thanks to you. I mean, he is making them a super tight-knit group. Isn't that Lieutenant Winters leading Easy Company in PT? I was planning on giving him a set of these today. Why don't you do it? He'd be proud to get them from you. Are you actually going to give it to him? Pornography, contraband, non-regulation clothing, contraband. How is it private, private tipper has spare time for so much correspondence? A personal letter is to be considered contraband? These men aren't paratroopers yet, Lieutenant. They have no personal property. You won't even let them have letters? All weekend passes are canceled, officers included. Oh. Carry on. Ooh. Yeah, everyone's gonna end up hating him. Colonel Sink has seen fit to promote you. I am designating you mess officer for 14 days. Yes, sir. There's rain forecast tomorrow, so the company will have a light afternoon. A special meal before their afternoon off would be a welcome change of pace. Would you agree? Yes, sir. I feel like there's something to it. I like spaghetti. Special. I'm afraid they're gonna poison it or something. I mean, not poison, but do something to the food. Like, do something to make them sick. I don't know. This stuff is orange. Spaghetti ain't supposed to be orange. Oh, come on, gonorrhea. As a fellow Italian, you should know that calling this crap spaghetti is a mortal sin. Did he call him gonorrhea? Maybe I misheard. Get up! Lessons are canceled! Easy Company is running up curry! Move! Oh, after eating spaghetti. Oh, he always... He always had this planned. Oh, yeah, there was a reason behind the spaghetti. You can see exactly who is thrown up already. someone's parachute isn't gonna work any refusals in the aircraft or at the door and i guarantee you you will be out of the airborne yeah that makes sense if you had any class or style like me someone would have mistaken you for somebody you mean like your sergeant <laughs> we're just messing around now parachute infantry is a brand new concept in american military history i want you to know that i'm damn proud of each and every one of you and remember our motto Karahe! Oh, I really thought we were, we were going to have to run after that. <laughs> Something would ruin that night, but no. Guess they had one good night. Betty! We're in the wrong position. We're taxable position for ambush, sir. Think we should sit tight. Can I deploy your troops? Move out. What? Tactical call! Oh, they were right there. Captain, you've just been killed along with 95% oh. of your company. Okay. Your outfit? Just, still just training. I'm hearing a lot of rumblings. Sobel? So, he gets a little jumpy in the field. Mm hmm He gets jumpy and then you get killed. Uh, listen, if we discuss it, I think it should just be amongst ourselves. Oh, absolutely. Second platoon ready? Ready, sir. Then get them in formation, we're moving out. Either the crowd still get him? 
one of us. Well, you know, I'm always fumbling with grenades. It'd be easy if one went off by accident, you know? Ooh. We're betting you're up, my friend. Since when do I drink? Well, if I thought you'd drink it, I wouldn't offer it to you. Morning. Oh. Look who's waking up. Turned into a real nice trip. <laughs> Eat them to the flamingos. Flamingos are mean. <laughs> they bite. Guys, I'm glad I'm going to Europe. Hitler gets one of these right across the windpipe. What if they send us to North Africa? My brother's in North Africa. He says it's hot. Really? It's hot in Africa? <laughs> Who would have thought? The point is, it don't matter where we go. Once we get into combat, the only person you can trust is yourself and the fella next to you. If I'm next to Sobel in combat, I'm moving on down the line. I like Winnis. He's a good man. But when the bullets start flying, I don't know if I want a Quaker doing my fighting for me. He ain't Catholic. Neither Sobel. He's a Jew. I'm a Jew. Congratulations. <laughs> What's all that about? I already called Sobel the Jew. You've got to take offense because he's a Jew too. Oh, September 18th. Made it to England. Sobel's late. There should be no fence here. Temper! Yes, sir. Give me the map. Take cover behind those trees. All right, you heard yes, the word. Sobel's lost again, right? Yeah, he's lost. Can you do major what? It's a wild bear <laughs> crap in the woods, son. Shit, shit. Isn't that the intersection? No, sir, it's here. You were full grid off. And this has happened twice now. Who said that? I think it's Major Horton, sir. What is he? Did he join us? What is the goddamn hold up, Mr. Sober? A barbed wire fence! Oh, that dog just ain't gonna hunt. Now you cut that fence and get this goddamn platoon on the move! Yes, sir! We have to move. It's a T intersection. We improvise. <laughs> Don't mind us. <laughs> oh, can't go that way either. I imagine they're gonna be right here too. You've done it now, Yanks. You've captured me. <laughs> Would that be the enemy? As a matter of fact, yes. Who was the idiot who cut that man's fence? I was oh, ordered he's gonna to be in trouble. Major oh. Horton. No, they were messing with you. Major Horton is on leave in London. Yeah, it was not Major Horton. <laughs> Lieutenant Winters. I didn't know that he was in this. With Captain Sobel's compliments, sir. Ooh, what does he say? Not for crying out loud. Misspelled court martial. Your orders to me were to inspect the latrines at 10 hundred hours. 10 hundred hours? I followed your orders to the minute. I changed the time to 0945. I telephoned. I'm courted with a family that has no telephone. Irregardless, when given a task to perform by a ranking officer, you should have delegated. I performed my duty as I was ordered, sir. And I disagree. But literally, he didn't get the message? Punishment for your offenses will be denial of a 48-hour pass for 60 days. Or you may initiate a letter of appeal and request a trial by court-martial. You spend your weekends on the base anyway, Dick. Be a man. Take the punishment. I request trial by court-martial. Oh. Well, let's see where this goes. What happens there? Oh, well, you didn't expect him to do that. to battalion mess. Ooh. Winner scrambles eggs while the rest of us make the big jump with Sobel. So we're going through with this, right? Gotta do something. Are they going to end up killing Sobel? Well, we'd all better be clear of the consequences. We could be lined up against a wall and shot. I'm ready to face that. And every one of us had better be too. I will not follow that man into combat. Me neither. Let's do it. I hereby no longer wish to serve as a non-commissioned officer in easy company. I'll to have you all shot. There's nothing less than an act of mutiny while we prepare for the they goddamn invasion of Europe. You are hereby transferred out of my regiment. You can consider yourself lucky that we are on the eve of the largest action in the history of warfare, which leaves me no choice but to spare your lives. Now get out of my office and get out of my sight. Here I was thinking they were about to kill Sobel. I can only speculate, sir. Most of the men would, would never do this. I believe just a few of the sergeants may have felt their loyalty lay more to the platoon than to the company. And these few sergeants convinced all of the other NCOs in your company to turn in their stripes? As I say, the rest are good men. I know them. I, I can work with them. Winter's court-martial has been an unpleasant distraction. 
Indeed, indeed it has, sir. Your command of Easy Company has been exemplary. I believe you fielded one of the finest companies of soldiers I've ever seen. I mean, that's exactly what he wants, what he wants to hear. Vision has established a parachute training school at Chilton Foley. Frankly, I can't think of anyone more qualified to command such a school than you are. I'm reassigning you to Chilton Foley. I'm losing Easy Company? War if it needs you elsewhere. Good luck at Chilton Foley, at Herbert. Don't let us down now. Ooh. Yeah, he's not too happy. Ooh, not happy at all. 1944. The estuary of the Doof River divides two beachheads, codenamed Utah and Omaha, here. Between our assembly area and the battalion's objective, there is a German garrison. Easy Company will destroy that garrison. Has Garnier said anything to you about his brother? No. I got a problem. Garnier's brother in Italy? Henry? Killed in Monte Casino. Oh. And he doesn't know yet? What do you think I should do? For me, I tell him. A couple of hours before we jump? I don't know. Yeah, that's not exactly. I mean, I don't. Uh, I don't know. I feel like I'd want to know, but this is bad timing. You're en route to the great adventure for which you have trained for over two years. That's why they gave us ice cream. <laughs> the great Easy adventure. Easy company! Listen up! No jump tonight. The invasion has been postponed. Oh, now we're caught up to what happened at the beginning of the episode? 4F. You look 1A to me. Hey, you don't look so bad yourself. It's Johnny. Johnny. Should you be giving blood? Not the wrong goddamn jacket. I was struck by oh, oh, he does not care. Okay. Uh, Bill Garnier's brother. Mm. Bill doesn't know. Mm. June 5th. Got something you might be looking for. Your jacket by mistake. You read it? Yeah, he read it. Sorry about your brother, Bill. Mm. Sorry for my mom. Bill, I'll meet up with you over there. Mm. Poor Bill. Uh. Second platoon, listen up. Good luck. God bless you. I'll see you in the assembly area. That's cool that he's the one that's lifting all of them up. Their anxiety, their dread, uncertainty of what's going to happen. No turning back now. Oh, there's so many planes. Wow. I mean, the planes can only fit so many people. Ooh. Is this how the episode ends? I think it is. Soldiers and sailors and the airmen. You're about to embark upon the Great Crusade. The eyes of the world are upon you. Good luck upon this great and noble undertaking, Dwight D. Eisenhower. I feel like the episode ends on that. Yeah, wow. I, oh my gosh. The fact that it ends there, it, it just oh, gives me so much anxiety for what's about to happen. Oh. Standing in that door, I could see the lights on the drop zone way in the, ahead of us. I had everybody standing up, ready to jump. When the plane started to get hit, the pilot gives me the green light. I'm out the door. Each man was preparing himself mentally to make that jump. We lost a lot of people that night. You try to put it all on your mind? Oh, gosh. Gosh, this is just the beginning of the episode. I know that this is probably going to be a hard one. Day of days. You can't see anything. Oh, it's so hard to hear too. I mean, that has to give you anxiety on top of everything else. Uh, just waiting and waiting and waiting. Oh, that'll wake you up. Wait, that's terrifying that you can't see what's happening, but you can hear it. You can tell that something's going down. Oh, here we go. They're 
are gonna go down. Uh. Oh, all of them. Ah. Uh. Oh, it's so hard to see anything. I mean, it's so chaotic. Wait until they reload. Aren't you D Company? Able, sir. I guess that means one of us is in the wrong drop zone, huh, sir? Yeah, or both of us. Quite possible. So you're a radio man. Yes, sir. Well, I was until I lost my radio on the jump. Yeah, not really a radio man without a radio. First, I need your help. Locate some landmarks to get our bearings. Keep your eyes peeled for buildings, bridges, roads, trees. <laughs> well, trees. We found trees. I wonder if the rest of them are as lost as we are. Uh, We're not lost, Brian. We're in Normandy. We at least know that. Oh, who's there? It's so hard to see anything. You can't tell if it's your men or your enemies. Who's that? Lieutenant Winters? Is that you? Okay. We're good. I saw a sign back that way. It said San Merrick Lees. We're about seven kilometers away from our objective. We're four hours away from when we need to have it secured. You men will stick with us until we find your unit. Let's go. Flash. Thunder. Thunder. Okay, okay. Good to see you. Good to see you. Garnier, you and Hall up front. Wait for my command. Enough, Garnier! Yeah, I think he got them. Everyone okay? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Next time I say wait for my command, you wait for my command, Sergeant. Ooh. Yes, sir. Fine, Quaker. What's that guy's problem? None of your business, cowboy. All right, let's okay. move out. I mean, I have the same question. What is his problem? Shouts at me for killing Krauts. He just wanted you to wait for his command. Joe, he don't even drink. Oh. See some bodies. Oh. Oh. Anybody need supplies or ammo? Now's the time to get it. Uh, uh I mean, you have to do it, but. Oh. Hey, I promised my kid brother I'd fetch him back a Luger. So I got first dibs, okay? I hear... something. The landings have started. Let's go. Right on time. Yeah, tell that to him, cowboy. My name's Hall. That's so. I just heard his brother. The lock, he shut you, yeah. His brother got at a casino. Found out before we jumped. Top of the morning to you fellas. Enjoying the war? <laughs> Where are you from, son? Eugene, Oregon. You gotta be kidding me. I'm from Astoria. What gives? What, what are you doing in a crowd uniform? My family answered the call. Stop fraternizing with the enemy. Get over here. What got you to Eugene? I was born in Eugene. <laughs> oh, gosh. What's the holdup? Not sure. Oh. Why we'll get your tenants got something to do with that. 90% of the men are still unaccounted for. 90%? Oh, no. no one's seen him. You know, if he is missing, wouldn't that put you in line to be the next commander of Easy? Hey, Lieutenant Spears. How many men of Dog Company got assembled? A handful, maybe 20. You the only mm -hmm. officer that made it? So far. Hey, Malark! We're waiting all of you. Yeah, I'm coming. I gotta run. I'll see you around. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. That's what, uh, I felt that coming. He's shooting all of them. Easy yeah. company? <laughs> And you just said, see you around. There's some crowd 88s up ahead. Up ahead and to the right about what? 300 yards? Think easy can handle it? Yes, sir. There are two guns that we know of firing on Utah Beach. We'll establish a base of fire and move under it hard and fast with two squads of three. We'll be making the main assault. And they really don't know what they're up against. There they are. Three cannons. Ooh. They are close. Oh, here we go. Oh, bad timing. I'm sorry, sir. 
where you hit, Pop. I can't believe I'm f***ing up my ass, sir. Your ass? <laughs> yep. <laughs> I don't think it's too bad. I feel like it's probably pretty bad. <gasps> no! Grenade! No! Did you get it? <gasps> Toy! Let's go! Get out of there! Get out of there! Did they all make it out? I'm gonna go and see what's keeping lift. Alright. Toy! Cover your lieutenant! I think one of those dead crops has a loser! Oh, wow. Keep your head low, Teddy! I feel like they're gonna shoot him. Uh, has he not been hit yet? Was he not hit? That's kind of amazing that they didn't hit him. Oh, ready, sir! I don't have any way to set it off, sir! Ooh. Oh. Fire in the hole! Was he shot? He was shot. Ooh. Ah, there's no time for anything. You just have to keep moving. Alien headquarters! Are you kidding? It's back down the way! Do we know- <gasps> Oh my gosh. I don't think I need to have to move on. Oh gosh. Okay, back to battalion. Go, go. I figure there's maybe 40 or so crowds still manning three MG 42s to the rear. We killed maybe around 20, so. There's still 40 left. Nice ride, you got there, Oh my gosh, all the red. By nightfall, 2nd Battalion had secured San Marie de Mont. Most of the 101st Airborne, including Easy Company, were still scattered all over Normandy. <laughs> Evening. Hello, sir. Any word on Lieutenant Mann yet, sir? No, not yet. Don't that make you our commanding officer, sir? Yeah, it does. All sir, right. that jar, the Lieutenant, don't drink. It's been a day of firsts. Oh, he's drinking now. Don't you think, Garnier? Oh, he's not calling you gonorrhea. Yes, sir. Okay, I guess there's some respect Carry there on. now. Oh, Sergeant? Sir. I'm not a Quaker. <laughs> to make it clear. You know that map you found? That had every crowd gun in Normandy on it. It's on your mind. I lost a man today. Mm. Hall got killed today at Brig Corps. It's a good man. Not hungry. Mm. I sent that map up to Division. I think it's gonna do some good. That night I took time to thank God for seeing me through that day of days and prayed I would make it through D plus one. And if somehow I managed to get home again, I promised God and myself that I would find a quiet piece of land someplace and spend the rest of my life in peace. Hmm. Following medals were awarded. Wow. Was awarded to Lieutenant Richard Winters. I have now made it through two episodes of Band of Brothers. So two down, eight to go. I mean, we I don't even know what's going to happen next, but there's still so much to cover <laughs> over the next eight episodes. Wow. This episode, I mean, I knew at the beginning, really, I knew at the end of the first episode that this one would be kind of a rough one to get through. I mean, knowing that they're going into D-Day. It's like seeing the date, seeing that they're going to Normandy. I mean, I knew that this one would be hard. And so much of it was, it was almost hard to see. I mean, that's kind of the point because it would, it's not exactly easy for them to see what's happening as well. I mean, everything just moves so fast. I mean, people die left and right. It could just happen so quickly before you know it, the person you're talking to could die. You could die, at, I mean, at any moment. So it was just like, hard to follow, hard to like see what was happening, but oh my gosh, this one was very intense. And so, I mean, <laughs> that was only episode two. So I imagine that it's just going to get 
more intense and more emotional just as the series goes on. The beginning of both of these episodes, and I assume that the rest of the episodes will also kind of start this way, but the interviews that they are showing, I mean, I can only assume that we'll get a little bit of that as it goes on, but it's interesting that we're not seeing the names. So I'm curious if by the end of this, we will see who is who. I imagine we'll see... Oh, I, I guess it's kind of smart not to show the names because if you see the people in real life, you'll know who survives and maybe who doesn't survive. So I imagine that by the end of this, it'll be revealed who is who. But even at the beginning of this first one, oh, I can't remember exactly what he said, but there was a moment that, I mean, it, it was an emotional start to the episode. So I imagine, I mean, like seeing their eyes, like just fill with tears and just, just seeing the emotion on their face all years and years and years later. I mean, this all of this changes your life and affects you significantly. It affects you so much. Just seeing those tears. I mean, it's really emotional. I mean, it's such an em emotional way to start this episode. And I, again, I just feel like it's just going to get more intense and more emotional as the series goes on. But so far, I'm really impressed with how well done this show is. I mean, again, I haven't seen a whole lot. I'm only two episodes in, but I am looking forward to, I mean, seeing what comes next. I mean, I, I don't know. Excited feels like a, a weird word to say. I don't, I don't know if I'm excited, but I'm looking forward to just seeing how this series progresses. I think it is really doing a good job of just showing how much anxiety and dread they're feeling like even before all of this happened uh, before like while they were just waiting for the drop i mean there has to be just so much anxiety and dread just it has to be just so consuming but i'm definitely looking forward to seeing what happens next in this series i will say i'm kind of struggling right now and this is a me thing this isn't a show thing every i'm struggling telling people apart right now because since they're all wearing the uniform and a lot of scenes especially in this one things just move so quickly um i almost need like a face sheet with their names and their photos just so i get used to who is who and i imagine as i watch this more as and as i get to know the characters it'll be easier to tell them apart but right now i just don't know except for like the main two or three like winters i can recognize malarkey i'm starting to recognize but i don't know like a lot of them it's a little difficult to tell apart, but I'm sure that's going to get easier as I go on. But I have now watched the first two episodes of Band of Brothers. Thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe, and we will see you next time.